You know, there is one thing that never fails with modern women. She's going to give her best years to the bad boy, ball player, entertainer, rapper, B-boy, Tyrone Chad. She's going to give her best years to that guy. And then when she enters her wall fades, she's going to want the attention of a nice guy. Now, we talked about the divorce of Carmelo Anthony and his wife, Lala, which we saw coming because the man was moving around, going from city to city in his career. And the woman wanted to stay somewhere and focus on her career. And I tell you men all the time, if a woman doesn't follow you, she's following her own path. And a woman following her own path is a recipe for disaster when it comes to a relationship. Now, after the divorce, She's in her 30s, closing in on 40, late 30s, closing in on 40. And she's hit the wall now. Now, let's keep it a buck. Lala is still an attractive woman. As a matter of fact, Lala is still a very attractive woman. You cannot say that the wall has done Lala bad. So let's keep it a buck. She is a bad little wall banger chick. Let's keep that a buck. But she is a bad little wall banger chick. You look at young Lala and look at Lala now. You see a huge difference in her appearance. So she looks good for her age. So she's going to be able to get a simp if she wants a simp. But she says Carmelo is toxic like future. And she wants a Russell Wilson guy. You know what a Russell Wilson guy is? A guy who lets a woman do whatever she wants to do. A guy who lets a woman be who she wants to be and loves her all the same. A guy who lets his wife twerk in pajama pants with no drawers on in front of the camera while he records and makes a joke about it. A guy who has a woman who's in the evening gown out in public twerking with Megan Thee Stallion at a black tie event. Now she wants that. But see, here's the problem with wanting that. The psychological and emotional scars of being publicly embarrassed by Melo having multiple outside kids. It's the part we don't see on the surface. See, this is a woman that has been through something that she can't recover from. And so she's going to drain said nice guy so quickly that he's going to be a shell of himself. And she's not going to be able to give you anything back because she gave everything she had to the bad boy ball player. See, when she looks at Sierra and sees her being allowed to wild out in a thotastic fashion with a simp husband who pedestalizes her still, she desires that. Hell, all women desire that. But there aren't enough Russell Wilsons to go around. There's a bunch of nice guys, but there aren't any rich nice guys. There aren't any millionaire nice guys. There aren't any superstar nice guys like Russell Wilson. Now I will say this. If you got a wife, man, and she don't even know you got outside women and you tip around and have two or three babies on her, man, that's pretty toxic. So I'm not going to lie and say that what Carmelo did isn't toxic. And if you think it's not toxic, then you just, you just a simp. You just believe that a man should be able to do whatever you want to do, no matter how much he lies and covers it up. It's almost like you men say, only women should be held to the standard of being godly. Only women should be held to the standard of being honest. Only women should be held to the standard of being honorable, respectful, respectable, admirable. But we men can do whatever we want to do. You find me a man who believes that and look at it. Look at his life. His life is a dead end. In all ways. Now, Melo obviously didn't enjoy being intimate with Lala. Because if he did, he wouldn't have been out there wild in the way he was. It's one thing to have a side chick. Man, Melo was out there wilding. The same way Tiger Woods was out there wilding. Man, Tiger Woods didn't want to be with that woman. He was out there wilding out. When you out there wilding out like that, you don't want to be intimate with the woman you have. There's something lacking in the intimacy of her. But 
a lot of times it's because you put the woman on a pedestal where she can't do those type of things, where you're not comfortable with her being the type of woman who will wild out and let her hair down. And so you're having that, that wifely, queenly type intimacy with her. So a lot of times that's a man's fault for not allowing his woman to let her hair down with him intimately. And here's the problem with that. If she's not letting her hair down with you intimately, she's going to let it down with someone else. Now, on the rare occasion, there you just have a woman who just isn't wired like that. What you get is the best she has. And sometimes it's just not um, it's just not out there enough. You know, she's just not wild enough. And then other times, man, you got to feel kind of disrespected as a man where you're the breadwinner and you're moving to another city to play ball where you're still the breadwinner. Even though she has a little career, you're the breadwinner. And she wants to stay behind and do her career somewhere else. See, that's the problem with her. She wants to do what Sierra did, but Sierra lives in Russell Wilson's house. Sierra don't live in Atlanta while Russell Wilson is in Seattle. When that man wake up every day at home, his wife there cooking breakfast for him. When, when Melo was waking up every day, he had to have one of them chicks he knocked up there playing wifey because his quote unquote legal wife wanted to do her own thing. And now she wants some type of sympathy from people because she decided to do her own thing. Well, guess what? If you decide to do your own thing, then you have to suffer the consequences that you're not being the type of wife you need to be to your husband. And he has the right to have a suitable replacement for you. It's one thing if you're incapacitated and can't do it because of some injury, because of something like that. But if you decide, willingly decide that you're not going to be there in that way for your husband, what are you expecting to do? See, in typical fashion, she gave her best years to the bad boy ball player. Now she wants the nice guy to pick up the pieces of what's left of her prime. And there is such a smidget of it left, such a smidget. If you really want to know the difference, you got to see her without makeup. If you see her without makeup, you will see the big difference that has taken place over the years she was with Mello. Mello got her best years and now Mello doesn't want these years. Now she wants to give these years to a man who can have a woman in her prime. When Russell got Sierra, Sierra was still holding on to her prime. Lala is almost 40. No man that's made, no man is in a position to win, no man that's in a position of power is going to buy into that. Now, there is a simple will, but she's going to be footing the bill. And you can count on that. Now, there's an interview she did with Angie Martinez, and uh, I'll link that interview down here, man. I'm not going to play it. Um, it's just, it's not worth playing. So if you want to see it, then you could go and listen to this interview. Uh, where she says one thing in this interview that would lead me to believe that this is even more toxic for a man than a, a normal situation would be. She says that her and Mello are still best friends. Now, I want you to understand what that means. A woman has a deep seated emotional attachment to a man who can do all of those things and publicly embarrass her. And she has no animosity about it at all. They're best friends. She is so emotionally tied to that man that she could never give you anything emotional. So no man should ever take the chance of being emotionally attached to Lala. You know how I feel about emotional attachment with any woman, but this one for sure, because it's not that she won't give you anything back. She can't give you anything back. It's not in her. Melo has it all. And that's a, that's a serious situation. And But the sad thing is, she'll still find some simp who will wife her and worship her, put her on a pedestal, and tell Melo, Well, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Somebody's going to tell him that. Somebody's going to feel that way. But here's the thing. Your woman ain't going to never stop interacting with her baby daddy on a positive level. Because in her mind, her and Melo and the son are still family. So, and, she, and I, I, trust me, Lala is not going to have another kid with you. So here you got a woman who's got a kid. The only kid in the house is another man's kid. Then you're buying into being a stepdad of a kid that's in high school. It's not the same as being a stepdad with Lil Future. He was a little kid. 
You can raise him the way you want you want him to be in your household. Kid in high school, man, he already pretty much a grown man. So she's just not worth it in any kind of way. Her best thing should just been to stay with Mello. That was her best thing. Instead of worrying about him having kids on the outside, just be happy that your body wasn't the one that had to push out them kids because then you really been in bad shape. And here's the thing, man. Sometimes some women make good girlfriends, but bad wives. There's such a huge difference in the requirements of being a girlfriend versus being a wife that some women just don't do it well. Some women just aren't good wives. And Lala seems to be one of those women. If you're my wife and I'm the bread when I'm making millions, because you got to think about it. She was with Melo when Melo was still a superstar in the league. If we're in Denver and I'm going to Chicago, you need to be moving to Chicago. She pressed Melo to try to come east, which wasn't the best fit for Melo. And I think Melo always held that against her. He should have held it against himself. But when you're in a marriage, you have the propensity to overcompensate for your woman not doing her part. And this is what happens. And then when you leave there and go somewhere else, the woman wants to stay there because that's where she always wanted to be. So you just got to keep in mind that sometimes you just chose the wrong woman. She was a wonderful girlfriend and she just didn't measure up as a wife. Because when you refuse to follow your husband as he moves around in his career, then you're putting yourself in a position to have to be replaced. Because Melo is an athlete. Melo can't do no cooking and cleaning and all that for himself. And when you're an athlete and you're playing in another city for a whole season, hey man, you got a wife, you want your wife. You want your wife in the bed with you. You want your wife waking up, cooking for you, eating breakfast with you, doing whatever. You want to go walk the beach with your wife. You want to do some things. But if your wife decides she want to stay her tail in New York, guess what? You're going to be walking the beach with someone else. Someone else going to be waking up in the bed with you. Someone else going to be cooking breakfast for you. But guess what? Someone else is going to be having your babies. This woman is scarred. And before she even tries to get back into any game called dating and relationships, she better go get herself some counseling. She needs it. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out.